What small YouTube channels should everyone be subscribed to? What counts as small, great depression cooking? A grandmother who lived through the depression shows us how to make foods that she and her family lived on while struggling to survive. Sadly she passed away a few years ago, but her channel is still up. She's lovely. Broke my heart to hear her passing. Thank god for YouTube. She has a great personality and really great and easy to understand tutorials. Ordinary sausage. If that's your sorta of thing basically just gets various foods and grinds them and puts them in a sausage. It's pretty epic. I give this post 5 mark ruffalus. Very nice splatter. Caitlin Doughty asks a mortician lots of interesting topics, especially relating to death and the funeral industry, all presented by a professional in the field. I came here to say this. She's great. Her videos helped me a lot with death anxiety when I was very ill. She's got one. 3 million subscribers, so I'm not sure she's considered small, but she's totally worth a watch. I really liked her video on Moby Dick and her video on low cost home funerals options. I showed it to my mom and broached the discussion on what she wants after death and if she has a will. Very very practical and comforting. Atomic shrimp. English bloke. Tries food. Scam scammers. Does other things. I watch his stuff. Is it a small channel though? He has like 500k subs so idk. He's grown insanely fast. Cadaver. Similar to Nexpo or Nightmind. He tells horror and supernatural stories that, for the most part, happened in real life. Great dude with great sound quality and editing alongside great content. Yet he only sits at 78k subs last time I checked. Check him out if you're into mysteries. Love Cadaver. He was my first thought as well. His videos tend to be broadly uncovered by other YouTubers in the same sphere. Dank pods bro. He's chaotic energy, while reviewing musical equipment is something I've never thought I'll need also salmonella, although he's been inactive for about a year now. But he's been doing it for about 5 years so there's plenty of content to watch. Dank pods is really the only time the YouTube algorithm worked as it should. Threw me a recommendation, when he was under 10k, and I was like holy shit this guy is fucking amazing, and I'm super happy his channel blew up. Man deserves it. He's also the guy behind Dankmus and that's actually the channel he was sinking his effort into. I believe Dank Pods was supposed to be more of a side thing, but it blew up. A long time ago something similar was posted and someone mentioned that chapter for you true crime lovers. That was about 2 years ago, and the last few weeks I saw him reach a million subs, and felt like a proud mom. I love Mike. Tree Turty haha. Hey I I I I I you. And welcome. Dad how do I a guy who teaches you stuff a typical American dad would teach his son. There is a sister channel named, mom how do I, https, slash slash www, youtube, com slash channel slash upvo2ns underscore 7 ya vzfyvx 5 jgv underscore uck slash videos. Didn't know about mom. Thanks. Gels marble runs, https, slash slash www, youtube com slash c slash jealous marbler and slash playlists several years ago a dutch teenager started uploading videos of his custom marble tracks that are really complex there are some he builds out of different track sections and others where he digs a really long winding trench down a huge sandy slope and films the marbles as they race down to the bottom eventually after someone on reddit added voice commentary to one of the videos the marble league was born each year there are various different tournament style competitions. And different marble teams compete to win medals. It's all taken way more seriously than you expect and it really captivates you. The production quality has only improved since it began. And there is a huge community of people who are fans of their favorite marble teams. If you start with Marbula 1, Formula 1 style racing, or one of the marble leagues from past years, it will give you a good idea of what to expect. There are new episodes every week. My YouTube recommendations are a lot of motorsport clips and races. When the world stopped last March and there was no racing, YouTube stepped up and knew I would love watching Marbles race. Cannot recommend this channel highly enough. Production values are incredible and I never thought I'd be a fan of Marble Team. 
Go raspberry racers. Heck no. Savage speeders for the win. If you're in the UK and used to love watching Robot Wars, or are in the US and love battle bits, I heartily recommend Buggle Bits. HTTPS slash slash www. YouTube. Com slash watch. V equals JZT0J6ZLRSO. A channel slash show created by fan slash former contestants in response to Robot Wars being cancelled a second time and focusing on a smaller division of combat robots than you'd see on TV. 1. 5 kilograms rather than 100 kilograms. It's an incredibly well made show considering they've done two seasons on virtually zero budget with a crew consisting entirely of volunteers and borrowed equipment. And the robots slash fights themselves are epic fun despite their small size. They're incredibly close to 4k subscribers and would love to reach that milestone. Also, I was in it briefly. It was a lot of fun. Oh 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 nice. I really enjoyed the reboot of Robot Wars. It all felt very wholesome somehow. We'll check this out. The reboot was much more representative of what the hobby slash sport is like on a personal level pretty much everyone gets along. They'll trash each other's toys and then immediately help each other put them back together. Yeah. That's the vibe I got from it. I think I even wrote an email to the BBC to tell them how much I enjoyed it. Fat lot of good that did. Cooking with K. HTTPS. Slash slash www. Youtube. Com slash user slash Lutkman. He taught me so many good Chinese recipes. Been watching him for about 10 years. He's ripping guitar solos in the videos too. Nice. KCETHTTPS slash slash www. Youtube. Com slash channel slash UCDG7. Pi IA5 Bay WQIVT Octiara. Channel of an independent TV station in Southern California. It has a large collection of quality videos about pretty much any LA centric subject you can imagine. It's artbound. HTTPS slash slash www. Youtube. Com slash watch. V equals AHO dash ZYZ to FGU. Series alone is worth your time. Here's a documentary. HTTPS slash slash www. Youtube. Com slash watch. V equals 3 US CK hith 90. About Frank Lloyd Wright's works in LA. T his 1. HTTPS slash slash www. Youtube. Com slash watch, V equals YJEDOZCDHVG, is about LA's prohibition bootleggers. Get Indie Gaming, HTTPS, slash slash www, YouTube, com slash channel slash usilks 5 hk underscore i 175 acyktwyk 2 w an earnest, no-nonsense channel about indie games. They have lists for top games released every month, top upcoming games, and some review videos. Great way to stay informed, especially if you're worried the next indie gem might sail under your radar. Articulations HTTPS slash slash www. Youtube. Com slash channel slash uk 9 un 3 hx gjhv one kxgw This is a great channel that explains architecture for lay people like myself. Covers other art and design topics too. Do you hate brutalist architecture too? This video, https, slash slash www, youtube, com slash watch, v equals vgwvaxrhxgm, makes a case for that style. Thinking basketball, https, slash slash www, youtube, com slash channel slash uk 3 hpbvb 6 f 58 x underscore 7 smip 6 op if you are an NBA fan, and wish to become a more informed spectator. This channel should help. Videos is tube under tree and focus on the details. Appropriately. The most recent. Video. HTTPS. Slash slash www. Youtube. Com slash watch. V equals jopi 5 e 46 pay. Discusses Cobes impact on court and demonstrates its points through a wealth of examples. Breadsward HTTPS. Slash slash www. Youtube com slash c slash bread sword slash videos video essays on specific films channel has a small collection but each video is excellent i recommend the video https slash slash www youtube 
com slash watch v equals b9 sick sk that explains why treasure planet is one of disney's most underrated films gavin weber not exactly small but has 260k subs australian bloke who shows you how to make different cheeses and calls his viewers back quote curd nerds lol i was about to suggest gav his vlog channel is tiny and he recently got a new puppy called hamish hamish is cute Carol Jobst, I have no interest in speedrunning watches Carol Jobst I still have no interest in speedrunning, but I can't stop watching. Exactly. How to cook that by Henry Arden and Granny Potomouth. Jill Browning, Scam Scammers, and Nellwood. Interesting music. Jim Browning is amazing. Thank you for the translation on that one. Couldn't figure it out. Door Monster, it's a really funny skit channel that makes funny skits about video games, board game, movies, it's really wonderful, they even made a superhero movie, Door Monster, https, slash slash www, youtube, com slash c slash door monster slash about, a surprisingly good superhero movie. Geography now this guy, now a team, is going alphabetically through the list of countries and highlighting various geographic aspects of each country. They are currently going through countries whose names start with backquotes. Even if you aren't geographically inclined, I'm not either. These episodes have a whole bunch of general knowledge that is fun to learn. I love them, and they are a great it channel to recommend, but 2 meter subs isn't small emo. Cooking with Linja. She makes YouTube shorts, but she's that grandma everyone wants. I swear she is just the sweetest lady. So wholesome and even up to date with our teenage modern world. She's not cringy either. Just so sweet and funny. Definitely recommend. Thank you for showing me the way of cooking with Linja. I've recently stumbled across Kayla at Let's Get Knit Faced, and she's so great for anyone wanting to learn knitting or crochet. She has a great personality and really great and easy to understand tutorials. Thank you. I'm currently struggling to learn knitting. Hopefully her videos will help me not pull out all my hair. I would also recommend Very Pink Knits for knitting as well for a wider range of stuff, because she's been around for quite a while. When I first got into knitting she was a great help, because she has specific videos on specific techniques and types of stitches. I recommend Very Pink Knits to every beginner nutter that I come across, and even those who've been doing it for years, but need a bit of help. She's great. Sheep and Stitch is a good website for beginners. It's got video tutorials and lots of free patterns. Joel Haver just Joel Haver. You mean the RPG guy. The Mafia guy. Or the whatever the green guy was guy? Got a few. Summoning Salt makes documentaries about speedrunning history. Some of the highest quality stuff on YouTube. Sucks you in, even if you have no interest in the subject. Rasputin makes video essays about themes in video games and some TV. And has a really interesting series where his wife who has no gaming experience plays different games. Sideways makes video essays explaining why music makes us feel the way it does. His content is easy to consume for anyone, and you pick up knowledge about music on the way, which just makes it more enjoyable. M. Plemon makes documentaries on whatever he's feeling like, and they are all amazing. I can't really give much more of a description, because his content is that diverse. Cinema Wins, the wholesome version of CinemaSins, highlights everything great about films and even has personal insight considering he recently became a father. I cannot recommend sideways enough. Pushing up roses. Smart. Funny examinations of nostalgic kids media and afternoon TV. From a wholesome investment in murder. She wrote to just reviews of point and click games. The first video of hers I watched was the Discworld game. Been hooked ever since. She was also the first channel I became a Patreon.